Hello, 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 hello. Kyle versus Tommy yet again. We are watching Tommy as is the standard at the minute. I promise I have got other people's games. I'm just going through these in the order that they are in date order so that I don't forget which ones they are. Which is a good thing because I've just accidentally commentated a game I already commentated on over a year ago because I didn't do them in date order. So, you know, there we go. And there we are. Kyle gets the first frag onto Tommy quite early on into the game. Tommy now going to be basically just waiting for this 30 seconds. There's not much you can do. He's just got to try and stay alive until the items come up. Tommy grabbing that mega armor. Kyle, I'm going to assume, is going to grab the mega health over the other side of the map. Good shot there from Tommy coming through. Playing a nice little defensive game as we've seen over the previous games. If you've not watched those, please do check them out. It's very, very much appreciated. And he goes in. That's very aggressive from Tommy. But doesn't quite pay off. He did get a lot of damage onto Kyle. Uh, but Kyle able to just do a little bit more. I think they were probably on just about even stack. So it was one shot either way to the end there. Kyle probably stacked quite heavily now. Because I think the Mega Armor will have come up in between that fight. But we have seen on the other games that Tommy is the comeback king. Always making it close in the end, even if the first five minutes don't go his way. And Kyle does start very quick. Beautiful prediction there. Lovely shot. Will Tommy be able to survive it? Kyle, so much health. He must have stacked up on those mega armors and health. And I think he managed to get away with a couple of those uh, outside of fights. While Tommy was off around the edges. Now it's going to be difficult to see what Tommy does through here. Because while he has got a decent idea what the timings on the items are, Kyle also has a decent idea what the timings on the items are. And he's taking them every single time. Beautiful move from Tommy there to get out of that room though. He must have seen that spawn and gone, oh I know where Kyle is. <laughs> I'm going to get the hell out of dodge. Really well done there. We have seen Kyle play that position um, and get some spawn frags. I can't remember what game that was in. How I was watching Kyle. Uh, oh, that was an unuploaded because the game was incredibly not close. Kyle versus uh, Clasps on this map. Coming through spawn fragging where Tommy's just spawned. You can go through the teleporter. Uh, and just start shooting. So you've got to get out of there very quickly. If you know that your opponent's in the mega health room. Lovely prediction there from Tommy. He's got incredible game sense in this map. I promise that yawn is not because this map is, uh, matchup is boring. Pretty sure I just have mild whatever that thing where you just fall asleep randomly is. And that you're sleepy all the time. Narcolepsy, that's the one. Because I'll just yawn at any op opportunity, even if I've slept really well. Good fight here, though. Carl's going to have to. Okay. I was not expecting that, I've got to be honest. I thought Carl had a lot more stack than he did. Uh, but now he's on a little bit of the back foot, but he's going to pick up the mega health. Tommy, Tommy's kind of playing a game of poker here. He's holding his cards close to his chest. Carl's going to think that he had a lot more health there. Now Tommy's going to run away. But after someone picks up the mega, you wouldn't expect uh, them to stick around after you pick up the mega. Unless they had a decent stack of health to be supporting themselves. Beautiful shot there. That really is some uh, some good prediction from Tommy coming out there. He's going to sneak up behind Kyle, get a good shot. Doesn't quite get the shot he would have wanted. He would have wanted that sort of movement where you're following someone before you shoot. Tends to indicate you, you feel like you really want to land a solid shot. Get an absolute meat shot going on in there. Uh, so Tommy skipping out 
beautiful spam doesn't manage to connect with any but it did slow Carl's entry Carl tends to come into that room very very quickly we've seen um, so the spam at least slowing his entry and oh, I just saw his head there I wish these demos were rewindable because I would rewind that to just that point where he saw his head you just see the tip of the green head and boop 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 there he's gone Toby down again though. 5 to 8 the scoreline. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ignore that massive crosshair. That's the. Uh, that's. Oh yeah, I've made it massive because I thought it was broken. So we no longer have that reload in the game. Uh, this is a long time ago. And I made it massive because I thought it was broken. I was trying to work out why it had gone. And they did used to have a habit of disappearing. Uh, depending on what version of server you were using. Oh, nice shot from Kyle there. When you're playing around pi uh, pillars like that, there is a 50-50 of making your shot land and not. Lovely play there. Credible shot from, uh, from Tommy. Lands the second next as well. Not going to find anything with spam there. He's predicting all these shots. Look at where how he's playing. So, Tommy's accuracy. We're going to have a look now. Tommy's accuracy. 36% next. It doesn't look great. And he's actually hit nothing except for necks and Devastator. But, the accuracy doesn't tell the whole story. Uh, we can't see on this. It's one of the best features of Champ's upgraded dual HUD. Uh, spectator hood and everything is that you can see the number of shots taken because I think we'd probably see a lot of shots taken by Tommy he's spamming everywhere that uh, Kyle could possibly be and he's hitting quite a lot of the time like he's shooting before he knows where Kyle is we've seen it and we've seen him hit a few of the shots so yeah he's missing more than he isn't but uh you could definitely do some in-depth analysis on Quake duels, uh, particularly Xenotic duels, with the way that a lot of our weapons are built to be spammed. You could definitely do some very in-depth analysis on how players play. Like, So right now, you know where he is, and you're taking shots. But then... How good are you at taking shots when you can actually see the player? And then how many of those shots are hitting when you're just kind of guessing where they are? Looking at the... Oh, beautiful play there from Tommy. One shot plus a direct um, blaster shot is enough to frag. One next plus a blaster. But he instead knocks him into the fire. Absolutely beautiful. Tommy, two minutes to go. Bringing it back. This game's gone back and forth quite a lot. Although Kyle's been in the lead for the majority of it, it has gone back and forth. I don't know if Tommy's going to be able to pull this one back, though, because on the way that everything's going, it is Kyle's turn to take back control. But if Tommy's managed to get into his head a little bit or potentially make him lose his confidence in certain areas of the map, we are now later into the game. Can happen. But this is a great position for Tommy to be able to build on I mean we say build but it's a minute and a half left but a minute and a half is actually quite a lot of 10 minutes to be fair but Kyle with nothing Tommy with everything and with the timing on the items you've got to think Kyle doesn't even want to attack this we just heard the 50 be taken by Kyle so we know Kyle's got a decent bit of stack but definitely nothing on what Tommy's got right now could very well go to overtime if Kyle was going to play it. I would, in Kyle's position right now, probably be trying to play for overtime. On this map, you've got a chance to be able to play it for overtime. But he's not going to have that chance now. And if he was doing that, he's going to have to pull himself backwards. Because, yeah, he's got to just push in and fight and see if he can manage to take Tommy down. But if he doesn't get the damage off... Now you can see the panic in the way Kyle's playing. Watch his movement. Watch how jumpy he is. Tommy staying still. He's playing 
as he has been the entire game. But Kyle, he's moving a lot faster, but a lot less. He's missing more shots. He's definitely been hitting more. It, it, you can see the panic in the way he's playing because he has to play faster and he has to catch up. There's no time now. Rushing in. Gets a decent shot off at the end. And that is a beautiful GG. Fantastic game between these two. Uh, yeah, Tommy managing to keep it this time. Quite often we see Tommy go um, go very badly at the start of the game. Kyle starts strong, Tommy doesn't. But this game, Tommy managed to keep it in check. And fantastic play all the way through. Keeping control of the map. Managing to stop Kyle from building anything too big. And yeah, he barely used any weapons whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> just a vortex, a devastator and a water. Beautiful play. Thank you very much for watching. Please come watch me on Twitch. I stream these live, twitch.tv slash mxcraven. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time in a demo.